Hi everybody, welcome to OGS Studios. My name is Osegar Kisinari. And uh, yesterday I had a great workshop with, uh, at Kino, which was really amazing. Got to meet a lot of different photographers. It was a really good experience. And uh, I'll be doing tutorials for post-production, how to edit images once you've moved them, after you've done a photo shoot and stuff like that. Um, so we'll be also, it'll be like a series, we'll be releasing videos every, every weekend, every, every week. So I'll let you know through my page, you can follow my page, you can check the links on the caption. And uh, today we'll be basically doing a tutorial on um, basically, um, first of all, this is uh, Upendo Mle, she's one of the models in, in Tanzania. Um, very good model, she knows how to model very well. I've done a photo shoot, this was from a photo shoot we did a while back. And um, we had a problem because while we are doing the photo shoot at the beach, um, the wind was blowing and so the hair which we had already um, done before, um, which was really good, um, which looked really good, um, could not stay proper, proper because of the wind that was blowing from the, from the beach, from the ocean, you know, ocean wind. So you can see that here before, I had already done some editing before, but here before you can, you can see that there's these hair, hair flowing from her, you know, hair which, which do not really look good, even if you, you know, from a distance you can see it and it doesn't really look good for the image. The overall image I was happy with, but I just didn't like the hairs which were standing out. And um, there's a way to take out these hairs and that's what I'm going to be um, basically teaching you today. So as you can see, I'd already done it before and you can see that's the difference and it does make a very um, significant change to the image. Um, what you're going to be using today is basically the um, uh, what's this? The clone stamp tool, and also the selection, the selection, selection tool, which will be the polygonal um, lasso tool. So, how we're going to start about it? I just deleted the layer which we had edited. I'll start from scratch. We have here the original layer uh, of the image that we taken, which we already moved into Photoshop. And then, um, what we we'll basically do is duplicate this layer. So that the one which we duplicate is the one which we're going to be editing from. So in a Mac, you'll be pressing Command J, and in a PC, you'll be pressing Control J. So you get the duplicate, and then we'll name that maybe let's say the editing editing layer. Okay. So this is the one which we're going to be editing. What we'll be doing next is actually quite a, a very simple uh, tool to to use. And once you get the hang of it, you really um, benefit from it. By you, I'm sure you can use it for many, many different um, um, situations. So you basically move, all, you go to the tool panel here, and then you select the panel last tool. And if you haven't seen it, usually it's just the lasso tool. You right click, and then you get all these different um, tools from the lasso tool for selecting different areas. So you just select that, and then you go to the area that you want to um, take out. So this is the hair which I want to take out from this image, you know, which was being blown by the wind, and I could not do anything about the time, about that at that time. And I, just, I really wanted the photo, so um, this is what you will be able to do at Photoshop if you have a situation uh, similar as mine. So you go to the area that you wanted to change, which is here, and then we'll select it just so it seems as if there was no problem. We're basically clicking and then we're selecting the area that we'll want to take away. So it still is going to flow with the head and then we'll just move around this area so we can take away the hair that we do not want. So after that, you just go back to the same location where you started, which is here, and then you, this thing, the selection tool will basically come on and this area will be um, selected. Then you go to your clone stamp tool, which is here, clone stamp tool, and you'll be setting it a current layer because you want to you wanna copy from the current layer. You know, the flow will be at 90% and the opacity will be at 100%. And you basically press Alt, and this, um, basically the cursor will change to this, like a target kind of thing. And when you hold Alt, and I think on a, on a, on a PC as well to be Alt, um, in, in, in a Mac it will be Alt Option, the option, um, uh, the option key. So I'll hold it and then I'll press with the left selection on my mouse, press it there and you'll be able to basically copy from this area to this area. So you, you basically want to copy from this area to this area because you want it to look similar. So it doesn't look different. Because if it looks different, then somebody will definitely know that you've done some editing in that area. So then I'll start basically selecting here the area that I want to copy from. So it's copying and then it's taking away the hair. And after that, if you want to take away the selection, you press Command D on a Mac or Control D on a PC. And basically you have this area you know, the place where there was hair, it will basically disappear. So the layer which was edit, we were editing from, now we can see, we just press this eye, um, uh, basically, basically you, you, if you want to see it or not, you just press this eye button, 
and you'll be able to see the, the, the original layer which, was, which had the hair there. And if I press it, you see the difference. So it was, it's just, the, this, this is basically what you can use, the, the clone stamp tool and the selection tool. And you'll be able to take away all these other hairs as well from this side. And if you have any other area that you'd wanted to edit before. And you can see that it's already made a significant change. I, I'm, I'm a perfectionist, so you can see that like in this area, having that it was kind of disturbing me from the beginning when I was looking at the image. But now that you've sorted it out, it kind of makes the image look way, way better. Um, that will be the, the tutorial for today. Um, we'll be releasing tutorials every week, so I hope you guys um, enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any um, t uh, tips you would like to know in terms of post-production, do leave it at the caption box or leave it at a message box in my Facebook page, and I'll probably do a video on it as well. Thank you for tuning in, and uh, take care. Cheers. See you around. Yeah, man, this is, it's one of those things.